Hello everybody! Watch this video to learn more about controlling and monitoring internet traffic on a router and also find out how to change bandwidth on a Wi-Fi router with the example of a TP-Link device. We will consider ways of limiting traffic available to all devices or for a particular gadget. Let's begin! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. Quite often, people face the need to limit the speed of an internet connection that the router is broadcasting. In this video, I will give a detailed explanation of how to limit internet connection speed with the example of a TP-Link Archer C20 router. Uh, we will have a look at two possible scenarios – limiting connection speed for all devices and doing it for a particular device or a group of gadgets. For example, for several computers, a smartphone, tablet PC, etc. Before you start configuring bandwidth for your router, it is necessary to enable the traffic control function and set the speed of incoming and outgoing connection offered by your Internet service provider. To do it, go to the router settings. In one of the previous videos on basic router configuration, I have already described this step in detail. In the router settings, go to the tab Bandwidth Control and check the box next to Enable Bandwidth Control. Set the egress bandwidth and ingress bandwidth. This is the speed your Internet service provider gives you. For example, when you are provided with 100 MB per second for download and upload, you should convert this value from MB per second to KB per second, abbreviated as KBPS, and type the result into the corresponding fields. It's very easy. 100 MB per second multiplied by 1024 KB equals 102,400 kilobytes per second. This is the data you should enter into the fields. Save. Now you should configure the bandwidth limitations. As I said, we will find out how to configure limiting settings for all devices connected to the root and how to limit internet connection speed for certain devices only. To limit Wi-Fi network speed for all devices, Go to the router settings. Go to the tab DHCP to see the range of IP addresses specified there. Look for Start IP address and End IP address. Copy or remember them. After that, switch to the tab Bandwidth Control. This is where you should create a new bandwidth control rule. Do it by clicking on the Add New button. Check the Enable box. Specify the range of IP addresses, which you saw in the DHCP tab in the corresponding field. The port range field should be left blank. Protocol – choose all. Priority – the default value is 5, so you may leave it as it is. Set the maximal egress bandwidth and ingress bandwidth. The minimal value – usually the minimal permissible value is used – is 1. The maximal, which I choose, is 10 MB per second, that is 10,240 KB per second. I will use the same values for the ingress bandwidth. This is the speed at which the device will receive data from the Internet. You may set a higher or lower value. Save the rule. Now the rule you have created in the bandwidth control settings will be applied to all devices that ever connect to your router. That is, the speed of incoming and outgoing connection will be limited to 10 MB per second. How can you limit the Internet connection speed for particular devices? This method is more complicated. However, in the router settings you can configure maximal permitted speed for every device. These settings should be bound by IP address. That is why let's start by binding the IP address assigned by the router to the MAC address of the device for which you would like to set a speed limit. It is required to ensure that a certain device always receives the same IP address. 
for which you will set certain bandwidth limitations. How to bind an IP address to the MAC address of a device? Go to the router settings, find the tab DHCP, DHCP client list. You will see the list of devices connected to the router at the moment. You should find and copy the MAC address of the required device. You may also note the IP address assigned to such a device. If the device for which bandwidth settings should be configured is not connected to the router at the moment, you can see the MAC address for such a device in its settings, somewhere in the section About Phone, for example. For example, uh, with an Android smartphone, you need to go to Settings, About Phone, Status. The address you are looking for is given in the line MAC address. In Windows, go to Network and Internet Settings, Change Adapter Options. Right-click on the network adapter, which is used for establishing the Internet connection, and select Status – Details. Physical address is the actual MAC address of the computer's network adapter. You already know the MAC address of the required device. And now go to the tab DHCP – Address Reservation. This page shows you the static IP address assigned by the DHCP server. Below, you can configure corresponding settings for reserving IP addresses. Click Add New and enter the MAC address of the device. After that, specify the IP address to be reserved for this device. You can use the address from the page DHCP client list or, for example, specify it as 192.168.1.120. If the IP address of your router is 192.168.01, the address should be 192.168.0120. Change the status to Enabled and save the settings. This way, you can bin the required number of devices or edit, remove and address reservation entry. The most important thing is to remember the IP address you have set. You will need to use it when setting maximal speed for this device. Now, let's configure bandwidth for a device using its IP address. To do it, go to the tab Bandwidth Control. To create a new rule, click on the button Add New. A window will open where you can set the values limiting the bandwidth. Follow these steps. Check the box next to Enable. In the field IP range, type the IP address you have previously reserved for this device. The port range field should be blank. Protocol – choose all. Priority – the default value is 5, so you may leave it as it is. Set the maximal egress bandwidth and ingress bandwidth. The minimal value – usually the minimal permissible value is used – is 1. The maximal I will choose 5 MB per second, that is 5120 KB per second. I will use the same values for the ingress bandwidth. This is the speed at which the device will receive data from the Internet. You may set a higher or lower value. Save the rule. You will see the rule you have created. It can be modified, selected and deleted, or you can create another rule. For example, to limit the speed for other devices. That is all. Using this sequence, you can set maximal speed for virtually every device connected to your router. To check the result, test Internet connection speed on the device for which you created this rule. Here is an important thing to take into account. If you have a public Wi-Fi network, perhaps even without a password, for which you need to set a maximal speed limit, the best solution would be to use the guest network function. The matter is that you can arrange a guest network in addition to the main network. Such guest network will be completely isolated, and you can limit the speed of Internet connection for this network. This limitation will apply to all devices connected to the guest Wi-Fi network. How can you do that? Go to the router settings and find Guest Network menu. In this page, you can allow guests to access my local network. If this function is enabled, users will be able to connect to other devices in the router's local network. Guest network isolation. If this function is enabled, users won't be able to communicate with each other. 
guest network bandwidth control. This is what you need. This function will apply rules for controlling the bandwidth of guest network. That is, you can use the method I have described before to set egress bandwidth and ingress bandwidth for devices connected to the guest network. For example, the minimal value can be 1 and the maximum 2048 kilobytes per second, that is 2 megabytes per second. Next, you can specify the frequency to be used by the guest network 2.4 or 5 GHz. But it only makes sense if your router is a dual band one like mine. Guest network enable or disable the guest network. Network name is actually the name of the guest network. Type the name up to 32 characters long. This is the name that, that your guest will see. Maximal guest number up to 32. Give the number of guests you prefer. Security. Use it to disable or configure guest network protection. If you disable it, guests will be able to connect to your Wi-Fi network without a password. Alternatively, you can enable it and configure WPA, WPA2 protection, just like you do it for wireless protection of the main network. Access time. Set the time when access is possible. That is, when and for how long it will be available. I am sure you will find your way through this setting. It's quite easy. Don't forget to save the modified settings. And summing up, these were the methods to limit bandwidth for devices connected to the router, which can help you to control how much internet traffic they are allowed to have. If you have any questions while you are configuring your router, you can leave a command to ask one. Hit the like button below and subscribe to Hetman Software channel if you find this video useful. Thank you for watching and good luck!